Hi, my name is Sean Von Toggen. I am a professional photographer. Uh, you can see my work at 615studios.com. I'm here to show you how to take really professional looking product photos with an iPhone. Everybody has got either an iPhone or uh, some kind of Android that has a very high quality camera. You've really gotten to the point where you can take some really professional looking photos if you understand a few things and how to manipulate your phone in such a way to use it to take great quality product shots. So. Um, what we've got right here uh, is an iPhone 10. The principles I'm talking about will apply um, to an iPhone 6 or above. So 6, 6 plus, 7, all the way up 8, 10. One thing that's really important is background and lighting. So I've got the My Studio US31 LED Photo Studio uh, from tabletopphotography.com. I chose this because it's got really great bright LED lighting that's 5000K, uh, which is a color temperature, a daylight color temperature. That will give you the best uh, quality uh, color reproduction is a daylight temperature. So we've got a great uh, photo studio with good lighting and a, a seamless white background. And now we're gonna talk about how to use that with the iPhone 6 or above. And one of the most important principles is to use a tripod. So you can get a bracket for any tripod. It doesn't have to be an expensive tripod. This is like a 10 or $15 bracket. Uh, so you hold your iPhone still and it will enable you to really precisely position your phone, frame your product. You can always crop at the end, but it's always nice to get it as close as possible with your first photo. So what we've got here is a drone and we're gonna go ahead and take a picture without making any adjustments to the camera. We've got it on a tripod so it's still, it's in the center. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a regular a picture without making any adjustments. All right, so there's our photo. Obviously we see the table, we see it looks dark, there's a gray spot in the middle. So now I'm gonna show you how to do a few things to really make this picture really pop into more like a professional quality photo. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna make the product fill most of the frame. So I think we're pretty good there. We can always crop in post. We're trying to get the picture as close as possible before we take the picture. Now you can see right now that the uh, product is kind of dark. There's some gray lines, there's some, the white is, is gray, and almost dark gray in parts. And that is because the iPhone defaults to an auto exposure. Well, when you're shooting on an all white background like we're doing here with the My Studio, um, you want the background to be white. So you need to actually override the exposure that the camera is telling you it should be. And there's a couple different ways to do that. One, if you pick any point on this screen and point to it, you're telling the phone to focus on and expose for that area. So if I put it right on the item, it gets a little bit brighter but it's still not bright enough to me. So whatever we want in the most crisp focus, let's go ahead and point right there. We're gonna point that in the middle. But now we need to tell the camera that the exposure needs to be brighter. So right to the right of the little focus square is a sun. If I drag that sun down, it gets even darker. If I drag it up, and you can do it as many times as you want, you can see it gets brighter. You're exposing, now it's getting a little bit closer to what we were really wanting with an all white background. Just gonna go a touch more. All right, and go ahead and take the photo. Let's check that out. So that's a nice looking image right there, way different than what we started with. Now you can refine that even more by editing the photo with just the native um, iPhone editing settings. And let's go in, we're gonna click edit. So there's a few things you can do. I try to keep it as simple as possible when I'm editing product photos. And I go ahead and use the crop feature. All right, so it tried to, you can rotate it here like this. You want this one to be about as level as possible. And I'm gonna bring the top down a little bit. You can just drag the sides in or out. And there we go. Trying to make it very symmetrical, but still have the product filling up most of the screen. Now there's some other things you can do. You could be done right here. I'm gonna go back and edit. Uh, over here are some of the presets that the iPhone comes with. This is the original image. There's vivid, vivid warm, vivid cool, all kinds of these things. I'm actually not crazy about any of these. I think the original image was better, so we're gonna go back there. And we can enhance that a little bit by clicking on this little clock thing down here. So you can mess with the color. If I like, say there's some yellow on here, I want that to come out a little bit brighter. We're gonna enhance that, or you could take it down to where there's less color. That's basically black and white. So somewhere in there, and this is all to taste. What you think looks best 
All right, I'm done with that. All right, I think I can edit just a little bit more. I'm gonna go back into the clock and I'm gonna click on the light area. Now, then you click the little three lines up there. There's brilliance, exposure, highlights, shadows, brightness, contrast, and black point. You don't need to mess with all of these. Um, the ones that I really mess with the most are exposure, contrast, sometimes brightness. So let's go ahead and we can, if we wanted it a little bit brighter, like take even some of the shadows out below here. I think that may be just a little too bright. Again, this is all to taste. Click the three lines again. Let's go ahead into contrast. When you increase contrast, the darks become darker and the lights become lighter. So you got to be careful with this one. But a lot of times in product photography, um, that really can make the product pop, especially on a white background. So we increase the contrast just a little bit. And to me, that image looks great. So there you have it. This is our final photo. You saw me do it. Uh, basically, the difference between the original photo uh, with no adjustments and the final photo, all we did was we we're still on a tripod, but we cropped in to make the product fill uh, most of the screen. Probably the most important thing we did was we adjusted the exposure by clicking on the screen and then dragging that little sun up till the background was white and everything looked like we wanted. Finally, uh, when we took the photo, we just went in and did some very basic edits. We cropped just a little bit um, to bring the edges in. You know, that's all to taste. We adjusted the exposure just a tiny bit brighter and we bumped up the contrast. So the darks are a little darker, the lights are a little lighter. Obviously, all the different items that you photograph, some will be a little bit different, but that's how you can have some control using your iPhone, just like a professional photographer would be dialing in the exposure with different dials, and you can have some great looking shots in just a minute or two. Get some practice going, get your iPhone out, get a My Studio or similar background, and you'll be taking some professional product shots uh, in no time. Good luck.